how's it going? So I wanted to show you this uh, post hole digger that I built. Um, I purchased the uh, the gearbox and uh, uh, basically a whole auger system for a tractor um, for like 75 bucks at an auction. And I mounted a uh, hydraulic motor to it with a coupler in there. And uh, I had to build a huge counterweight on one side to try to level it out. You can tell it's still not 100% uh, straight up and down, but you can get it uh, pretty close and then get it uh, evened up with the skid loader. Um, so basically I used all the kind of the mechanics off of the uh, original PTO powered uh, auger, the gearbox and the bits and whatnot. I got three of those bits. Uh, I think that's a six and I got a nine and a 12 inch. We're just messing around with the uh, the smallest one right now, but it digs a real nice clean hole. I buried this all the way up and had no problems with it. Um, so skid steer adapter plate. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys a test run and uh, we'll show how it works. It works pretty slick. So, um, yeah, it's just a skid steer adapter plate. Um, bought a fairly heavy duty one. I think that one's the 5 16th one I bought um, off of eBay for like 100 bucks or something like that. Um, the pivot mechanism, you know, basically I just used some of the parts and pieces off of the uh, original three point uh, auger that I bought at an auction for 75 bucks, which is amazing for the. It was a whole auger with three bits, so that's a great deal. Um, like I said, had to kind of build a, uh, a big counterweight off to the side. This is a piece of pipe right here that I took some other pieces of a 3 8 12 pipe and just started layering the outside of it. And then this here is a huge chunk of steel that I found. We just welded that on there. And uh, the inside of that pipe I filled with a bunch of rusty bolts and uh, sealed it up. So it's just kind of whatever you can do to get it kind of leveled out will work really. Um, and then my arrangement for hoses here, I need to get these ones here tightened up. That one's got a little leak and that one does too, but we'll get that fixed. Um, just some flat place uh, couplers here, some half inch NPT uh, crimp on fittings, these hoses I had made. Uh, it seems like with most of these projects, the hoses are almost always the most expensive part. I think I spent about 300 300 ish maybe 350 dollars on just hoses 